Check out my sponsor U4GM, they are offering cheap MLB The Show 24 stubs with fast delivery. If you are interested, please click the link in the description and use my code CAP for 5% off. Yo, what is going on guys, I haven't stopped making the video for you guys today. Before we get into it, I do want to say I appreciate all the support. In the last video we got 2,000 views. Um, when we do hit 12,000 subscribers, I'm going to be doing a giveaway for three $50 gift cards. One for Xbox, one for PlayStation, one for Steam. If you guys want to enter that, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe. Just be active on the channel pretty much. If you guys are just, you know, commenting, liking, just just being active. Like I said, you guys should definitely, you know, end up winning something. Whether it's stubs, coins, whatever. You know, I do tons of giveaways. So, uh, we're only 200 subscribers actually away from hitting uh, 12,000 subscribers. So make sure if you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you guys are subbed. And um, yeah, if you guys want another one of these sub videos, I'm only asking for 50 likes, and I'll have another one out for you guys literally tomorrow. Uh, <clears throat> so this is what I pretty much been doing to make subs as of recent. You know, a lot of people don't think flipping sponsorships work, but I'm gonna be going over that right now. So first things first, you guys want to head on over to marketplace and go over to sponsorships right here. And pretty much a lot of people like I said don't think this works as often but here's the thing it won't like be you know super quick and all that but it's good in the ways of making profit like there's tons of gaps between these cards and some of these like are fake gaps like this one's not really like a great gap like this one's apparently selling for 4.9 and you can you know put up offers for 2,800 that would make you over 2,000 and stuff but I don't think it's really going for that because um you know, it goes from 9,999 all the way to 4,999. That's a 5,000 difference on the left side. Like, so clearly it's not consistently selling. People are just undercutting each other by, like, a lot. You guys want to find ones that have consistent pricing. Like, and that's the thing about these sponsorships. A lot of them don't have that because it's a lot of undercutting. But if you could find one like this, as you can see, only people are undercutting by just, like, you know, one, two, maybe 20 stubs. So what you do here is just, you know, put in a buy order. You just put go 1,475, boom, and then as you guys can see, you know, eventually we should end up, you know, winning this, and then if we were to get it, I would just sell it straight up for 2,600, like, you want to just kind of sell these as quick as possible, so you are going to kind of want to undercut, like, a lot, and undercutting a lot should not matter with these sponsorships, is, that's what I'm trying to, kind of trying to go over right now, is because if you are going to make 2,000 stubs profit, by buying this for whatever and whatever then why not just offer a lot more like you're not gonna you're gonna mess with your profits a little bit but basically what i'm saying is you're gonna want to like overcut like everybody so let's say someone has a 1452 like i said obviously you just see and i just went up by like 25 stubs i don't mind doing you know going up by 25 stubs because i'm just trying to win this shit as quick as possible because like i said it takes a while with the sponsors like it, you're not gonna win these as quick as possible it's gonna probably take like 10 it could even take 20 minutes to even just win one but when you do you're gonna make tons of stubs off of it like some people post stub methods that make you like 50 stubs per post or whatever I'm this is gonna make you like let's see if I was to sell for 2600 I would get back 2340 so we'd make like 900 stubs profit off of this alone so I'm willing to just wait on that it's kind of like a little bit of an investment right there but yeah like I said sponsorships just make sure to go through all of them like this one looks like it's pretty good right here too you make like 900 800 off of it this one uh not really just like i said kind of try to find them the jordan one's usually pretty good it was last year at least and um yeah i mean you, you guys could pretty much spot the differences between the buy and the sell now the buy now is what you can buy instantly the sell now is pretty much what you can create your buy order for and try to attempt to win it for um other than sponsorships i mean i've honestly just been flipping the equipment and i would really just go down to the slot type and i do batting gloves if you do batting gloves right here these have a lot of gaps between them like i said like this one right here and these are consistently selling too that's what i'm saying these actually are consistent prices like they're not being over or undercut by like a lot um like right here it's 7200 on all on the left side so that means like this is actually like what it's selling for it's actually selling for you know seven thousand two hundred so if we could try to end up getting this right here for like i don't know five thousand nine hundred fifty if i can win that and then i would sell it for seven thousand two hundred i would get back you know five hundred subs profit 
and just kind of what I do is I just go through all the gloves and I just create buy orders for all of them because like I said they're all pretty good with the buy and sell now prices create tons of buy orders for all of these and then you know in 30 minutes you know you can you'll win a couple then just cancel whatever you don't win and then do the same thing over offer all again and just keep flipping these because like I said this is what's made me tons of stubs I mean at, most of the stuff I just do on the companion app because it's super easy to just do it on your phone you don't even have to be on the game to do this like market stuff you guys can just download the app literally straight up on your phone it's MLB companion app and you know make tons of subs off that and then also like I like to just flip like live players so mostly it'll be like diamonds I don't know why I keep doing the filter thing but randomly like just go to the front page and this is what I feel like a lot of people sleep on just go to marketplace and then go to MLB players just find gaps on like these players now a lot of these players like not the front page specifically but just go on from the front page and kind of try to like just look at these cards right here some of these have like a decent enough gap to where you even after the taxes you guys should make like a thousand subs per flip so for example let me try to find one <clears throat> so i think this is jordan lawler right here he looks pretty good now let's check <clears throat> if we were to sell him for eight, 18,000, you know, 400, what would we get back? 16,000? So that's what I'm saying. This is a thousand profit right here. If we would have got him right now for 15,500, right? Let's say we win that. Which, you know, I should. Let's say someone is, is selling him. Let's say I do win him. And then I'm going to sell him for that. And like I just said, that's a thousand stubs right there. A lot of people sleep on this, but it actually does work. Um,. You know, sometimes you won't win the buy orders. But let's say, for example, I do win this buy order, then that's what I would do. And I would, no doubt, I would make a thousand subs doing that. I mean, you can just find honestly anybody in the game. Like, let's say, let's check him. You know, if I was to sell him realistically and want to try to get him off quick, I would do that. What would I get back? Twenty thousand seven hundred twenty-five. That's another a thousand subs profit. You get him for twenty-one thousand eight hundred, and then you sell him off for this, and it tells you. The seller would receive twenty two thousand. So, <clears throat> let's say I'm the seller, because this is what I would want to sell it for. I would get back that, and as you can see, that's still a thousand subs profit. So I just go down and kind of <clears throat> find the biggest gap players. If that makes example, I always say the word gap because it's just shown. It just has seven thousand between it, like subs. So, if I wanted to sell this, let's say I bought it. I would do 43,100 probably, right? I would get 38,790, so that's 2,000 stubs profit. Now, it gets kind of scary because I would have to offer like, you know, 36,800 and hope to get that back. But I mean, these cards are usually consistently selling. You, like this one right here, this is a great gap. I'm going to try to win him right now on the video. <clears throat> That's what it would realistically look like. And then if let's say I win him, then I'm gonna do twenty one thousand. I mean twenty four thousand one hundred. And I would only make like a thousand stubs, but it's a thousand subs, you know what I mean? And if you don't win it, just cancel it. And this is what I usually do sometimes and it makes me the quickest stubs in my opinion. Like it it's just usually the quickest but sometimes it won't work because not all cards usually have, will have these gaps all the time. Sometimes they will be a lot closer. Like this Garrett Cole, there's not much profit to make off him ever because look how close it is. But then obviously as these go down, once people start not you know creating that many buy orders, then there becomes these 5,000, 6,000, 8,000 profit margins between them. So yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing to make stubs in this game. Literally everything I've been doing in the game to make stubs. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave it in the comment section down below. I'll make another video tomorrow, like I said. I'll go over anything you guys want me to go over a little bit more. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, peace.